Hi everyone, welcome to the highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. Please be aware that again tomorrow there won't be any new episode. The next episode will be on the 3rd of May. Thank you for your understanding. My name is Artem and here is the news. 797 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky believes Ukraine will not be able to become a member of NATO until it has won the war against Russia, reports ICTV. He said this during a meeting with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg and Ukrainian officers undergoing NATO standard professional military training courses at the National Defense University. He explained that NATO will not accept Kyiv while the war is still going on, as for some NATO members, it's risky, and for others, there is quote-unquote simply skepticism because of it. The president added that there won't be any issues regarding Ukraine's compatibility with NATO and the level of the Ukrainian military. Zelensky repeated that the fact that Ukraine was not a member of NATO was one of the reasons for the current war. Norway announced plans to allocate over 600 million US dollars in additional funds to support Ukraine, reports European Pravda. Yesterday, the Norwegian parliament supported the corresponding initiative of the government. Prime Minister Jonas Gar Störe said that 540 million US dollars of this amount will be spent mainly on air defense equipment and the remaining money on other forms of support. This decision takes the total amount of Norwegian aid to Ukraine in 2024 to almost 2 billion US dollars in direct support. President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Norway for this decision. Quote, we value Norway's unfaltering support, understanding of our pressing needs and willingness to stand by our side in the most critical time, unquote, he said. Latvia has also approved a new shipment of military assistance to Ukraine, including short-range anti-aircraft guns and surveillance drones. Latvia allocates about 0.25% of its GDP per year to support Ukraine. Meanwhile, Lloyd Austin, U.S. Secretary of Defense, informed that he asked countries which have Patriot systems to hand them over to Ukraine to strengthen its air defense. Austin did not specify who exactly he discussed the aid for Ukraine with, but there is information that such European countries as Spain, Greece, Germany, the Netherlands, Poland and Sweden have batteries of Patriot systems deployed on their territories. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Ukrainian government also allocated an additional 15.5 billion grivna, which is 390 million US dollars, for the purchase of drones for the security and defense forces, reports Forbes Ukraine. Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Shmigal informed that these funds will allow to procure 300,000 drones. He noted that this is an additional resource to the 43.3 billion grivnas already allocated for drones this year. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We're a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.